What is up, guys? Welcome back to Codeman Blue Gaming here on YouTube. Welcome back to Farming Simulator. We're going a little old school. We're going to start a new farm. And I figured I wanted to start it the way that I remember. Or at least I know when I was younger, a farm that I was on had some tractors like these. May not be exactly the same, but very similar. And it's just memories that I remember as a kid. So no idea what I'm doing here yet we gotta figure out I gotta figure out where home is and where to drop this thing off Literally, I just got into this map. I have no idea where my stuff is yet. I thought it was near the farm. But maybe not. Who knows? We gotta look at the map. <laughs> okay, I see it. We're like over here. accidentally hired a worker to bring the tractor back no 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 i want to do this so we own two fields currently we've got sixty four thousand dollars we got some fields that are ready to harvest and we're in north carolina so that's kind of cool definitely enjoy the different mods in this game and the things we can do looks like we got two different crops So we'll have to figure out how to go about those and like I said, I believe these are ready. They are, they're ready to harvest. We got barley and we got sorghum. I want to assume that we would own the fields around the farm too, but it only looks like we own the two. Which is a little weird, because our farm is in the middle of somebody else's property at that point. Not a whole lot the old guy here is going to be able to do, but uh, we'll try to do what we can with it and see where we end up with this stuff. Definitely curious to see how owning this farm will go. Yeah, so somebody else owns the fields between our fields. Definitely not going to want that to be the case for long. We'll have to see what it would cost to buy these fields. Or it may just be one field that's broken into two, which would be even better. But 
but I know our barley and sorghum is ready, so we'll probably get that harvested here in this episode, and then we will see where we go from there. I do want to buy some fun things just to make it a little bit more of a fun series. You know, we're going to farm, but we're also going to try to, you know, buy some cool vehicles and see what we can do. See what fun we can have in a story mode, per se. Um, I was just excited when I logged in and saw these mods for these older tractors. And yeah, they're slower, but it definitely reminds me of, you know, those childhood days. Just from the sound alone. buttons here. Nice and steady. I mean, this does kind of look like North Carolina. If you don't know, that is where I currently live. And this definitely looks like some of the areas of North Carolina, for sure. Some rolling hills and some grass. We got this thing moving top speed here. She only goes a solid 13. But I was like, I had to have it just for the nostalgia. And it just, it sounds like what I remember. So I think that's awesome that they went and did that and made it sound very similar to let's hit the gas pump see if it GTAs oh. we'll park behind the, the shed Oop, we killed that guy's crop there we go so we got our two older tractors but I think it's time we get ready to go and uh harvest here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy to come over here and move our header. And that's pretty much all these tractors are going to be good for when we think about it. It's like moving stuff like this. Stuff that's pretty easy to move, but doesn't weigh a ton. And that's okay, because I think it's just the fun of having something. I'm trying to remember how I get to the different views. There it is. I think we're going to do the sour, sour gum first, sorghum first, and then the barley. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't have any mods for, like, speed, so I won't make you sit through 
all of this because I know at some point you guys are going to be like, oh my god, what is he doing? He's, he's trying to murder us by making him watch this awful harvesting. Okay. Is it picking it up? Okay, yeah, it is. I was concerned at first. So it's going to take a second. For sure. We're going to miss the outside stripes because the field is not perfectly straight, which is a bummer. So I'm trying to make it in as few passes as we can. I don't know how quickly this thing is going to fill up. It literally just dropped in the game and I was like, you know what? I think YouTube would enjoy this. And they might. And if you don't, let me know. If there's things that you want to see me do in this series, let me know. If you have a good name for the farm, let me know. Because we don't have one yet. And hopefully the frame rates that I see that we're getting are what you guys actually see in the final product. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish harvesting this field. And we will come back and see how it looks when it's done. So I got about 75% done with our one field. And I went around the farm and I realized we didn't have a trailer. So we bought one. And it's much bigger than our tractor, but for now it'll get the job done. And we'll be able to unload this sorghum when it's done. Which is the goal, is to get it unloaded and... Uh, get it delivered where it needs to go. And I figured I would get a bigger trailer because I knew eventually we're going to need a bigger trailer. So why not just go ahead and spend that now. Um, so there is our trailer. She can fit a lot of stuff. And hopefully we can uh, wrap up this field here very soon. I'm thinking this pass would have it filled. And that was why I was like, oh no, I need a trailer. So we went and bought one. Um, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to name this farm. It was something that was just a spur of the moment. Let's do this. Let's see what we could do. And I found one that just happened to be in the state that I currently live in. And I'm like, that's so awesome. Let's start a farm. And uh, here we are. So welcome to Codeman Blue Acres for the moment. But we can always name it something else. You guys let me know what you like and we will go from there uh, 
Uh, so we're at 95%. And I think at that point we'll just empty it. I know earlier I missed this little spot. So I'm going to come back and pick it up. Because it's bothering me. And we should be able to fit everything into our trailer, hopefully. And that would make it a, bun a lot easier. But that was kind of what I was hoping for. If not, we'll fit most of it. And we can always dump from the harvester itself. There's definitely room for more, so we'll see what we can get this time and see if we can get that trailer nice and full. I do think at some point I will end up going with like as much old school stuff as we can. I started with the $100,000 budget and uh, you know, we'll have to make money to get there, to get anything of the older variety that we could put on this farm but it doesn't have to be i want to kind of mix the old school and the new school together and just make it a fun game a fun playthrough where we can just do whatever we want So, like I said, now I am actually going to wrap up this field, and when we come back, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we could get a good price for this stuff, or if we're going to just store it. I don't know that we're going to store it. Um, the good news is our neighbor's okay with us going on their grass. It's not like it's hurting their property value all too much over there. <laughs> see what we can get and we'll go from there there it is the sorghum has been harvested let's see if we can move this thing I'm going the wrong way I'm like, that's not the way to home. I'm new to the farm, guys. Give me some time. It's an adjustment. But the good news is this tractor seems to be able to pull this 1,800... 18,500 liters trailer just fine. And I was doing some research... And it looks like we got to hold on to the sorghum until about January. That's when we're going to get the best price. Um, and I think in order for us to ensure we have money to get there, um, we will end up picking up some contracts from some of our neighbors.
So we missed it by a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring her back around. We messed this up big time due to the pile of sorghum. Or there's just like a hill here that it uh, can't seem to get itself around, I'm not sure. I'll try to come back around and get it just right this time. I mean, I'm okay with it being in the back. I thought it was on the side, so that was what threw me off there. Um, we can't tow uphill. So the John Deere can pull downhill just fine, but uh, getting that uphill is not the John Deere's sweet spot, apparently. So we'll have to break out one of the bigger guns, though I'm not sure if it is actually a bigger gun. We're going to find out, though. I think eventually I would like to change everything over to either John Deere or Farmall. Just personal preference, but let me know what you guys want to see. We could, I mean, I think the only Farmall is that one, which is kind of sad, but we could do Case, we could do John Deere. We just gotta get a tractor that uh, can pull a bit more. Like, those will be fun for pulling around the, the headers and these empty trailers but it's not going to be able to do the bigger jobs. There it goes. That should jump right in perfectly. We'll have to get a bucket to pick up that mess. I can't believe I did that. The good news is we have a home for the farm all there as well. And we'll get this back up into its spot. And then I want to buy one more thing because I think it's going to be fun to have. I know when I was a kid, the farmer I lived on had one of these. But I want to go with one of these. That's cool. So we got the c 
Code Man Blue Gaming. Colors here. It's close enough. We'll just be able to cruise around the fields. It'd be cool if you could, like, pop a wheelie with it. But we'll definitely get to explore with this a little bit next time and see what fun can be had on the map. So until next time, guys, I am Cody, a.k.a. your boy, Code Man Blue. Appreciate you tuning into these videos. Hopefully they're getting better with time. I know it's been about two years since I started YouTube, and I've taken a few breaks along the way. Just not feeling like I've done enough to earn the support that you guys give me, but I think we'll get there. Definitely an experience with this thing. But that's what I got, guys. Until next time, thank you for watching. Let me know what you want to name the farm, what you want to see in the next video, and I will see you guys next time.